Hello and welcome along. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog and today is August the 10th. We have got our uh, New Holland T7 270 here. Uh, and the reason why is you might notice we've got two sets of mowers. Uh, we've had, uh, well, I've had a little bit of an issue uh, recently with the grass on here. We can't seem to get this grass to make hay. Uh, it's been uh, really, really difficult to do. Uh, so uh, I've been speaking to the guys down at Robertson's and seeing what they've uh, seeing what they've suggested. And they have said in the past that people have found uh, found more success by using conditioner mowers. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing here. That's what we've got. We've got these from them. Uh, we're going to give them a try. And hopefully this is going to dry out the grass a little bit more as we cut it. Uh, they've, got, they've both got conditioning units on these, uh, which these don't have. Um, the downside is, as you can see, these ones here require a little bit less power uh, than these do. So, uh, yeah, that's why we've got the uh, T7 on this. Uh, it would, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's going to require that rather than our G190. So, let's jump back in and I just want to reverse up a little bit more. Get this hooked up. So, the, hopefully what this will do uh, is, uh, yeah, give the grass in a bit better condition uh, when we first do it. Or when we first cut it. Uh, and should allow us to almost, well, and pretty much immediately today, go ahead and head it as well. Uh, heading it should mean that we uh, we can get it to dry out over the next few days. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna head it a fair amount. Uh, make sure that we are uh, trying to get it dried out because this really is our last chance uh, to get some grass cut on the farm for this year uh, and our dream of making everything self-sufficient really relies on this uh, uh, on getting this done so i'll just drive in here a bit and i'm gonna unfold those as well while those are unfolding all right we'll watch for the edge there we go and uh, we'll close this gate perfect so hopefully we're going to get some drier grass out the back of this. If these don't work, I don't know uh, what will on this farm. Uh, I think it's a case of basically silaging everything. Uh, so let's turn on the rear ones. Yeah. There we go. And all of them down. And away we go. And that immediately is drier grass coming out the back of here and in greater quantities. It's just, uh, yeah, it's working so much better, this mower conditioner. We used to get, so what we were getting out of the back of here was sort of this clumpy, wet, um, small amount of grass. Whereas this, this is so much better. Much, much happier with this. Uh, and uh, and yeah, we should be able to get this uh, into hay and a lot of hay. I mean, look at that. I don't know what it was with our uh, with the when we were cutting it before, but this is uh, this is so much better. Uh, which is good news. It means that we should get some hay off of our farm here, and uh, and and should mean that we get a little bit more self sufficient. So I'm going to cut around this farm a little bit more. Or around this field a little bit more. Uh, if we can actually make hay, this is going to be a game changer. I've got my first round of the field complete. And I'm looking at this grass. And actually, this seems drier than I was expecting. I mean, this is... The, the condition on this is actually doing a bang-up job. This is uh, this is almost this is on the verge of turning to hay. I think with the weather we're having at the moment, uh, we could possibly get away with not even tending this and just letting it dry. Uh, it seems to be dry enough. Um, I don't. I, well, I don't know if it's a case of we did wait and try and get as dry conditions as we could this time uh, in order to um, to get this out, but. 
Uh, it could be that, but this is the best or the closest we've had to a field of hay uh, since we uh, took over the farm at the beginning of the year, uh, which is really good. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with this. It is... can't believe how much of a difference uh, the conditioners are making on this, uh, on this field uh, and on this grass. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is really something. Uh, I think that we're going to be able to actually finally make some hay on here, uh, and uh, and in doing so, uh, be you know properly self-sufficient. It's the last thing we need. Uh, I need to go and check my other grass fields. I think if we've got another grass field that is uh, that is ready, uh, we might go and cut that as well. Um, so we'll take this up uh, once we've got this cut. We'll take this up there with this kind of uh, condition uh, of grass that's coming off. Uh, I think that it's worth us uh, going up there and seeing. We've got a few patches. You can see the weirdness of this uh, this grass. You can still see. We've got a few little patches that are just coming off really dark where this uh, where this uh, mow condition doesn't seem to quite be able to get it to uh to dry out a bit but for the most part this seems to be uh this seems to be working absolutely as intended and handling this grass a lot lot better than our existing mowers have been so uh yeah i think this is uh worth speaking to them and, and probably holding on to i think we'll end up with a uh, a much better time trying to work the grass on this farm uh, with a piece of kit like this uh, than we will with um, uh, than we will with our existing set of mowers. I'm guessing the, the previous owners just did silage all the time because I don't see how you do anything else uh, with um, with the way that the, the mower set up on here was. It's just it's just not up to the job, which is amazing. Or well, maybe, I'm trying to remember, was the... Ah, oh, the mowers might have been something we bought, actually. That would explain a lot. Thinking back, yes, the mowers were something we bought. Uh, we uh, we purchased them after all of that unpleasantness with uh, with the previous owners and the... Uh, and the finding out the convertible equipment wasn't ours. So we'd... So yeah, I, I think the mowers that I bought uh, aren't quite uh, up to scratch on here and, uh, and we might have to sell them off and uh, replace them with this. My, my only trouble is uh, we can't take the mower conditioners off this. So, uh, or not without, without a load of work. So it might be worth having two sets of mowers on here. Uh, one set for doing uh, this and uh and getting the hay done and the other set for uh for not drying it out too much so that we can't do uh the oh okay uh that we can't do the silage on it because we still want to do grass silage and uh clover silage so we do kind of need that second but it's it's quite a lot of um it's it's quite a, a lot of money's worth of mowers then what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna turn on gps uh, and we're gonna line ourselves up along here kind of wish i'd done this earlier there we go right and we'll take a line across here like so check my width There we go. Sometimes it can be a, a little bit finicky, but we're good. And we disengage it. And now the beauty of using the T7 on these mowers, or having to use the T7 on these mowers, is I get to use the GPS. Oh, this is this is ruining me, this GPS. But it's going to be good for us for this. And uh, yeah, we've only got three rows here, so we're gonna. What I'm gonna do is gonna cut through the middle, 
uh, open this up a bit and uh, and then we can go from here and uh, and get the next row done uh, but this is this is definitely definitely producing better uh, grass for us and closer stuff for hay uh, than we were than we've been looking at before and I'm I'm so happy we're finally looking like we're going to be fully self-sufficient on this farm, uh, which is just brilliant news. I think this is the most grass that I've seen uh, us having a cut on here so far. It's uh, it's just a really really nicely balanced field this at the moment, and uh, and this much drying out should just work for us wonderfully. I'm, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ecstatic. This has finally worked. Uh, and I don't, I don't know whether it's the, it must be the conditioner on these mowers. It's just making a massive, massive difference to what we're doing. And just producing some really nice dry grass ready for us to use. Now we can, uh, I mean, we can row this up and immediately take it for uh take it for silage so we we could just run on these mowers um it just gives us that little bit less time uh, and we need to sort of be really really quick uh with actually picking it all up but we should be fine i think i think we could get away with uh, just a single set of mowers on this farm uh, and it would give another use to our T7 because if you you might have noticed in the last few weeks uh, we've been using the uh, G190 a lot. Um, we've been putting a lot of hours on that, and this we haven't really used this uh, T7 since we uh, well since we did the seeding earlier in the year because um, we bought it for the seeding and as our uh, as our seeding tractor. Uh, so uh, you know if it's if it's doing this well with these mowers and uh, and it has the power to run them um, I don't see why we shouldn't uh, be uh, be using it for this job uh, I'm not gonna cut in because we've got quite a bit of uh, well we start going down the side of the field there and we start to travel distances to do stuff so it just makes a little bit more sense uh, to just keep working on the edge here. It's not like we're doing with the harvest uh, where we need to keep a nice uh, amount. Oh, sorry, we need to keep the uh, auger uh, available. We're just going through this field and, uh, and getting this all cut. And, uh, and yeah, it's cutting it well. I am suitably impressed. Um, I'll have to speak to... I'll have to speak to our... Uh, our uh, to Robertson's about this because uh, yeah they, they were the ones who suggested these to me um, but they're also the ones who sold me the others so maybe maybe it was a case of well I don't know I'll have a word with them um, I don't think this is their fault I think this is uh, I think this is me trying to save a bit of money and uh, and maybe getting the wrong equipment as a result um, and they, they know the farm up here but uh, they may not have known the problem that has previously happened i don't know if those uh well again I, we didn't have those covenant mowers for long enough uh, to actually use ourselves so i don't know whether uh that uh plays into it but um yeah certainly we have a great field of grass here semi-dry grass now uh that in the sun uh, just in the sun is gonna dry to hay uh, and with no rain forecast for a while, uh, we should be good. Uh, and that's going to just make a massive difference. Uh, also expecting the soybeans to come ripe uh, in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, that's, I mean, to be perfectly honest, that is why I've had another crack at the hay. Uh, because we've got these nice dry conditions. And at the same time, we, we have a lull in the harvest. Uh, it is uh, <laughs> it is uh, the perfect opportunity to, to have a go with this and have a try so there we go I just want to get got a few tufts kicking about we'll just go over those uh, along with this bit at the side here 
but the uh, the grass yeah looks like we're gonna get some hay third time's a charm as they say there we are and bring this in just finish off and then what we'll do is we'll pick it up and uh, turn it off fold it off and fold it oh. is that lifting that's lifting my front one try and get my rear one there we go and we'll fold that as well and while that's going up do this but look at that that is just yeah we've got a few patches of this where it's come off really wet and i'm tempted to just throw the tether over this uh see if we can uh we can ted these uh these wetter bits out which might be it might be a wise thing actually i mean this grass is fairly dry anyway uh if we give it a ted it'll uh it'll just help it on its way a little bit so just gonna bring this over here what tractors have i got i think my other tractors are all up at the other farm at the moment yep so uh in order to do any tedding at all we've either got to use the t7 or i'm gonna have to go and grab the other tractor i think i'll go and grab the other tractor nice little walk back up to the main farm Got my 11090 and we'll bring this back down here. Uh, I did have a check on my other fields while I was up there. Uh, both our other two grass fields are not yet ready for cutting. So uh, if this works, I will be able to cut, cut them and, uh, and try and get some more grass or some more hay bales off there. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, uh, yeah, we've just got this field here there we go getting three cuts a year off the field is quite tough uh you yeah you have to time it just right uh we've only this is only our second cut of this field so it can be a little bit difficult but bring this around and we should be able to just get the few bits that we had uh, like these just sort of tethered in uh, also it will help this uh, this field dry a little bit better that uh, means that we uh, should be all good so down and away we go i'm not where i want to be at all getting this tether in the right place sometimes can be a little bit difficult but uh, i think we're all right uh, just get that get right up to the edge one well, the troubles of driving in here like that right and down and away we go much better right because you can see a lot of our damp bits are in the shade in the corners uh, and we want to make try and make sure that we you know get it out of there so down and you can see the difference it's making. It's just clearing up those little wet patches that, of grass that we've got. Uh, it should tend them all nicely into a uh, much better, uh, or a much better situation. Get them to dry properly. I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference to the stuff that's that's already fairly dry. I think that's uh, that's going to take a little bit of sun to get that to go. Uh, but. Uh, yeah, there are just those little bits that we want to make sure that we maximise our hay off of here and uh, and try and make sure that everything is as it should be. Uh, it also means we won't get any nasty surprises in any of our bales uh, and, and extra moisture in them. We want, it, we want these bales to last as long as possible. And, uh, yeah, having little bits of, uh, of, of wet grass in there uh, will not help. It is all in these corners. But this should get them. Should just tussle it up enough uh, for us to um, to get it sorted. Coming back, we've got this large patch of this, uh, this on here. And I think if we jump out quickly, 
We can just see. Yeah, immediately you can see that's turned over and dried out a bit. But it's still not dried out as much as the rest of our grass. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to take possibly a, a second run over with it in order to do that. Let's just see. We've got any around it? Yeah, we've got we've got drying grass. We've got some in there. So you can see the difference we've got in the grass. So this is the this is the dry stuff that the the mower conditioner has pulled out. Uh, this is the uh, the the slightly wetter stuff um, that's that's we've turned over with the tether and and that's made it lighter. And then we've got this stuff here, which is the fresh grass that is dark and wet and isn't useful for anything. In fact, the only thing I think you can do with that, um, with that, uh, the dark, wet grass, uh, is, um, is do silage bales. Uh, it does fairly good silage bales. Uh, actual silage, though, you, you need to, to dry it at least a little bit. Uh, so it's, um, yeah, it's, it's annoying. And the mer, the mer conditioners that we've got now means that we, uh, we should never have that issue again. Uh, grass should get nicely dried out and should be able to be picked up fairly quickly and it will all work well <sighs> the uh the saga of the grass on here and getting it to work is a big one um but i am pleased that we seem to have, uh, have pulled it off uh although i don't know how well that grass is gonna dry i don't want to ted this too much um because yeah, this is uh, this is already fairly dry, nice and dry. Uh, we'll see where we go from there. It may mean it may be that the headlands need another Ted uh, just to sort things out. Uh, but uh, certainly, we are a long way uh, along now with this. So much further than we've ever been before. Getting uh, getting hay done on here. It's just. It's just not wanted to dry before. It can be quite difficult to work out where you've been and uh, and and what you're doing with uh, with this, especially with the, you know without GPS and things like that, which we, which on a track to this age we absolutely don't have. Uh, eyeballing this is uh, is a lot of fun. So I know roughly I, I get a point on the field. I, uh, I set my eyes to it. I know the edge of my uh, my tether has to hit that, and I try and hit it. And then you can see on the, the field that there is some shape to the rows that we've cut. Even even with a, a, a mower like the one we're using, which spreads it out, uh, tries to get the uh, tries to get it as as well spread and easy to. Uh, dry as it possibly can there are still lines to it there are still routes for us to follow and the other thing is you can see the difference between where we've been and where we've where, where we're going those lines are much more defined so what we do uh, what I do is I try and line myself up on the edge of, uh, of, of where it's more defined compared to where it isn't and that should hopefully mean that I get a good coverage of this whole field, even though I'm using a tractor that uh, that isn't giving me those exact coordinates for all of it. It should mean we get uh, fully covered. Uh, there's another bit of that really dark grass. There are just wet patches. I think without the without the conditioner on that mower, we have just had this whole situation where it's just clumped together. Where, where the grass has been so wet that it's just clumped together. Even now, again, you can see it's just gone that little bit drier. Uh, it should dry out a little bit more, which would be good. Um, but we'll, we'll see where we go. Uh, if I run the tether over here again, I, I don't know if that's going to be good for the stuff that we're already drying. So we'll leave it a few days. We'll see how this goes. Uh, and uh, and then we might get it uh, rowed and baled up, and uh, and then we get some nice big Heston bales up to our main farm uh, for cattle feed. Not much left of the field to Ted now, and it is uh, it's looking nice. We've got a nice good spread out here now. Uh, we're going to leave this to dry for a few days. 
I think we may get this. We may try and get this bailed up before we get back into the harvest because we've got the both the soybeans and the carrots uh, to get up, and we've got we've got two fields of soybeans. Uh, we've got we've got a contract coming in for the carrots, as I said before. Uh, they've got uh, they've got a hefty bit of uh, equipment. I think it's a big homer they've got. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what they do, and uh, we might have to help them out with some carting. Uh, but we're gonna have uh, yeah plenty of carrots uh, off the farm this year, uh, which will be good because we need those for our sheep. Uh, sheep take a good amount of carrots, and then um, and then yeah, the the soybeans uh, will come as well. I don't, I don't know which are going to be ready first. They're both getting fairly close. Um, but obviously, I don't want the contractor in while we're doing the soybeans because uh, then we won't be able to to help out and do that. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing we need to do, of course, on the farm that's coming up is uh, get some manure spread. Uh, so uh, I need to get I need to get that job done as well, and we might try and get some liquid fertilizer, some manure maybe on those grass fields uh, if they're coming up, uh, and and we may get some more uh, we may get some hay off those because I'll turn this off now uh, because those would be um, uh, that having a really really good amount of hay off those would go a long way as well so uh yeah fully self-sufficient by the end of the year is the plan and our target uh so we'll see where we go from there however that i think has been a fairly successful day here let's go close that gate and yeah hopefully this field is now going to dry rather nicely we do have a few patches that uh, are still a little bit wet, but that won't be too bad. Uh, it's it's all good otherwise. So we'll close the gate there, and I think we're going to leave this here. Why have I got my light on? Let's turn my light, outside light off. Ooh. No. No. Okay. i got to fix those electrics then. But that's where we're going to leave it. So all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this vlog please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from the farm please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye